Hi everyone, welcome to my continuing alcohol ink demo. Um, you can see I worked, this is what I worked on last time, layering. I have this background of ink and I have these nice drops of the mixative that I got there by accident, but that is a happy accident for me. Uh, and then I have this little beautiful flower. And so I wanted to show you this time the mixative, the silver mixative. And, um, oh, I'm sorry, I thought I had it out, but I don't, let me find it, okay. I have this box of all of these different colors of alcohol ink and the blending solution and um, the tools, Q-tips, all these things. Anyway, here's my silver. Nothing needs over. Have to shake it. Very important. Now I'm going to blend this. I'm going to use the blending tool and put this on my background. And I'm going to use this plus blending solution because I just want some silver to get in there. And I'm really hoping that you're going to be able to see this. Um, but we'll see. See what happens. Okay. I had a nice color. A nice happy accident there. Um, the white mixative grabbed the silver mixative and picked it up. I'm going to slide this down a little bit. Actually, let me just turn it around. Keep on coloring a little bit. It still has that blue mixed in it. It has some plum mixed in it. And uh, I took away part of my happy accident. Oh well, that's okay. It's a demo. Alright, so there's silver. And it looks gray, I'm sure, in the camera. And I'm Let's see if you can see that it is metallic. Okay. So then I'm just going to put ink over it. So let's just put alcohol and blue over that. It's going to pick up some of that silver. And that silver is going to mix in with this blue. Um, I'm going to put some. Now this is just how I work. So I'm just playing around with it. Um, there, you see those butts right there? That's from those happy accident drops. And I just went over them. Um, and this is kind of just spreading out on the edge, moving around. Um, and so I'm going to do another blue with more mixative. And blow and spread that out. I don't know if you notice. There is a difference between working on dry paper and working on paper that has ink already on it. You kind of get this more fuzzy effect. If it's just a paper, let's see if I can find one to show you. Okay, so this one was completely dry, glossy paper when I worked on it. And these are just so much more sharp than when you get... When you put it on top of the other ink, it gets a little fuzzy. It's okay. It just depends on what effect you want. All right. So I'm going to do some more of the silver because this is so cool when it mixes in. You are not going to believe how cool this is. So silver, and then I put this ink on top, and I hope that you can see it just like it's like it's bubbling and reacting and moving. And then I'm blowing on it. And it's beautiful. <laughs> so, can you see that it's very metallic? It's such a cool effect with the silver. The metallic mixative, I guess if, if you, I have gold too, but I just, silver just seems to be my favorite. I'm going to do it some more. So it's just moving. It just moves. When you put that alcohol ink over that silver or even the white mixative it just starts moving around but so I'm blowing some more this kind of reminds me of a sea urchin um, and when you blow it it dries I mean you know it's it's still damp this one is um, so there's that very silvery look and then just because I can and because I like it I'm gonna put a little bit of blue it's gonna pick up some of that silver still and um, 
you just get this really cool effect. Now, okay, this has got me wondering. Okay, my video is getting kind of long, so I'm gonna. This is the last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do silver plus white plus ah uh, plum because I like the plum effect. Silver, white, and plum all together. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but it's just like kind of like boiling and mixing and changing, and now I'm gonna blow. And I just kept on blowing because I wanted it to just keep flowing out. And look, it has that very light center. I don't want the center to be light. I'm gonna put blue and plum. These are not, I just, just like the effect. And so I just keep on going until I'm happy with it, until I'm finished. I may add, okay, I could add this um, kind of mushroom, this mushroom color. It's not going to cause any problems. It's kind of a gray green. Um, yeah. So that's kind of the effect. And honestly, I would, I'll just keep working with this until I get to where I want it. Um, but that's that's how it's going. And then I really liked that happy accident of those drops. So I'm going to add some drops of the mixative to this page. This page is not finished. I can work on that one. Okay. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you do. And um, looking forward to hearing from you. See you later.